Hello, my name is Ian Wright. I'm a certified senior client technical specialist with the IBM Corporation. And today we're going to be discussing the IBM Storewise V7000's rapid application storage solution, uh, and in particular, Tivoli Storage Flash Copy Manager. Let's take a purely hypothetical situation to start with. Let's just say that an executive in your organization is cleaning out his inbox, and while deleting spam, also clicks on an email that seems like it's unimportant, but actually has critical information in it. Whoops. After he realizes his mistake, he immediately calls down to your organization and says that he needs the email restored right away. This email contains this critical information, and he needs to have it for a meeting that's coming up in less than an hour. This could be a difficult task. Restoring that single email could involve lots of work to find it in your, uh, in your recovery backups. And there's a chance that you might not get it restored in time. If you have the IBM Storewise V7000 Rapid Application Storage Solution, however, this isn't a problem because it includes Tivoli Storage Flash Copy Manager. So in order to get this email back, we're going to go to Protect and Recover Data, select our Exchange server, launch the GUI, Mailbox Restore. We will select the appropriate mailbox. And we have a lot of different options as far as how we can filter out the email that we're looking for. We can do it by sender name. We can do it by date range, subject text, uh, attachment name message body text, or we can just search uh, on all content for certain words. In our case, we're going to look for the subject text, which is seems unimportant. And we're going to restore this to the Exchange server. Click Restore. And what this is going to do is it will access one of the snapshots that we've created through Flash Copy using Flash Copy Manager. It's going to create a restore database, which is basically just another instance of the Exchange database. And it will then filter based on our criteria within that restore database. So the bytes are now transferring. Uh, and uh, this will take a little while. So we'll pick back up again in uh, a few seconds when it completes. <clears throat> so now we have the mailbox restored, and it is doing the filter. And so it's going to search on our criteria, and we have now restored to the original mailbox, and we see that exactly one item was restored. So. We go back to our inbox, we refresh, and suddenly our seemingly unimportant accidentally deleted email is back. This process only took a few minutes with explanation, and it was very intuitive. And that's because of the design of Flash Copy Manager. As you can see, when you look at Flash Copy Manager, it's actually designed to look rather like an Exchange database interface. Uh, in point of fact, this same interface can be used for both SQL databases and Exchange uh, out of the same license. And <clears throat> what this gives you is the ability to do single uh, mailbox restores like that. But beyond that, it also uh, gives you more capabilities when you are creating the snapshots and uh, clones. Specifically, it accesses VSS, which allows us to create a complete copy of your data. It will talk to the application so that the application will flush out any data that may be in the server cache so that when we create this backup, it has all the data from a given point in time common practice in creating backups in a Windows environment, but this completely automates the process. 
It also can integrate with Tivoli Storage Manager. So if you want to, you can set things up to be scheduled. Uh, as we see here, you can click on the, uh, the scheduling uh, hyperlink. And what that will do is allow you to set it up to be a regular backup. Or you can do it through TSM and have TSM manage your entire backup process, including the flash copies. So what we're going to do next is show just how easy it is to create a backup. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on Protect and Recover, select our database again, and launch the GUI. Now we have different options as to the type of backups that we can create. Uh, in our case, we're going to create a full copy. And again, this is using flash copy within the IBM Storewise V7000 on the back end. So we select the V7000, and we click Backup. This is where it begins communicating with the application server. And it's going to get all the information that it needs. It's going to get the server to clear out all of its buffers. And it's going to issue the flash copy commands on the back end. And now we're back, and we see that we have a full copy made. So we're going to switch over to our Storewise V7000. And here we see that we have a new flash copy mapping. And it's 94% done. And this is a flash copy uh, manager exchange database backup. So this is using the, uh, the hardware, but it is communicating with the application. Now, let's imagine that something goes wrong in our Exchange environment. So let's say that something happens that our Exchange database is deleted accidentally. Whoops. Now, obviously, this causes a, uh, a bit of a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our restore window. Select the V7000. Click Mount Databases After Restore. And what this is called is an instant restore. So we click Restore. And this is going to flash everything back to that point in time of the backup. So the volume will look exactly as it did before. If we go to our Storewise V7000 window, we see that we have a reverse flash copy that is now in effect. So we are going from the backup to the source volume. And even though that copy is going on, you see that no bytes actually transferred. It is instantly restored. We look at the volume. And we can see that the database has been restored. And then if we go to Exchange and we refresh, we see that the database is back and it is mounted. And that is all that is required to instantly recover from a seemingly major corruption issue such as that. This video focused specifically on using Tivoli Storage Flash Copy Manager with Microsoft Exchange Server. It's important to note that this same interface can be used with Microsoft SQL Server. But more important than that, the Tivoli Storage Flash Copy Manager can be used with 
Oracle, DB2, and SAP. That is not a separate license for each of the environments. That is the Tivoli Storage Flash Copy Manager license can be used with any of those products to create application-aware backups. For further information, you can go to www.ibm.com slash storage slash storewise v7000, or you can go to ibm.com slash software slash Tivoli and click on the link for Tivoli Storage Flash Copy Manager. You can also, of course, feel free to contact your IBM sales specialist or IBM business partner. And I'd like to give special thanks to Gonzalo Fuentes, Margaret Yu, and David Don for making the IBM Storewise V7000 and the Tivoli Storage Flash Copy Management Manager environment available to create this video. Their help is much appreciated. Thank you very much.